Vision. Vision. Nomico. Nomico. Sights from beyond. Whisker plays heavy metal with a mixture of speed metal and new wave of British heavy metal or some might term it as the new wave of traditional heavy metal. So the guitarist that influenced me and my playing varies from blues, rock and metal and then the few main ones are of course my teacher Beast who taught me the way of blues and it's freely from Kiss. Akira from Loudness and Lazy, Dave Mustaine from Megadeth, Richie Blackmore from Deep Purple, Gary Moore, BB King, SRV, John Sykes, and also Van Halen. So, as you can see, this is the guitar. It's an Ibanez Prestige RG255OE. This is actually the first guitar that I bought using the money that I earned from the part-time jobs during poly days. And then pickups has been changed to, I believe it's Ben Acker nail bombs. It gives more clarity compared to the stock pickups that comes with it. And so the neck is super slim. It's one of the slimmest neck I ever played so far. Uh, usually I use this for uh, recordings for solos live shows a few here and there and also mainly overseas shows because of the shape it is it's very convenient to travel around with this yep and next i will go to let me just let me take one here this is the jackson made in japan rr3 so I got this present from my wife and my friend Cedric and if I'm not wrong this guitar used to be owned by Nizam from Impaiti and it was initially installed with EMGs and then now it's changed to Trembucker and Jazz. So I never really played much of this because there are some issues with the trem but it's often giving me some problems but too lazy to get it fixed for now. Yep, so this is the Jackson R. Next, this. This is the latest in my collection. So it's a Bernie Les Paul Custom. Uh, it's, it's the early 80s model. So it's very, very heavy. It's almost, if I didn't recall wrongly, it's about 5 kg. So I didn't manage to find out what pickups are they in stock with, but it still sounds massive. So, so far I've been using this guitar at home, didn't have much chances to use for life. But hopefully, one day I'll get to use this. Yep. And then next, we have the Ibanez Destroyer. It's the D T355 and it's a very it's a rare piece from the 80s and 90s era of Ibanez so I would like to thank Raimi from Disaster for letting this piece of beauty to me and then this is basically my go-to is what I use commonly for home and also life because it's so comfortable playing sitting down standing up and then I did have some modifi modification with stickers to you know replicate the Akira's Black Star guitar. But yeah, this is it. It's all stock pickup, very high output pickups. And then lastly, it's the Ibanez Destroyer again. But this is the DT555, if I'm not wrong, model comes with three pickup and an explorer shape so this is the price possession i have and then of course i'd like to thank mark for letting this letting go of this beautiful piece to me this is not much of a solo guitar but definitely a riff machine and all pickups are still stock nothing has been changed uh, if i'm not wrong these are actually maxon's 
equivalent of super distortion. Yep. So this is it. So very much on my tone that I play live at home comes from the M gain itself. But so let me try to get better. So I always stack M gain with this pedal over here. It's a Boss Super Overdrive. It's a GH mod. I'm not sure what what the what it does. I didn't didn't get a chance to actually test it side, side with a stock SD1. But I always stack this with the M gain. And then but recently I do use another one. As a M gain, if I couldn't find any M which is suitable on the live venue itself, this is the one, the Friedman BOD. It is super good. I've always been trying to find a pedal which gives me enough saturation and also a martial kind of tone and without any boosting, and this has it all. So, really recommended for this. So please stay safe during this critical period, this circuit breaker period. And then I also hope that it will all end very soon so that things will go back to normal. We'll be able to head out to enjoy some live shows. And lastly, this is Brendan and you're watching Vision Nomicon. <laughs>